Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss this problem 1452 Problem name People whose list of favorite companies is not a subset of another list so This problem came in the weekly contest 189 So now problem statement states that you are given the array favorite companies where favorite company i is the list of the favorite companies for the ith person indexed from 0 So as you can see like the, for the first person or the zeroth person, these are the favorite companies: Lead Code, Google, Facebook. For a person with indexed one, these are the favorite companies. So you have to return the indices of all those people whose list of favorite companies is not a subset of any other list of favorite companies. You must re return them in the increasing order. Okay. So now, as you can see, this person. So this person, for this person. If we check another, all the other companies, so if we like check this company, Google and Facebook, this person's list is actually a subset of this list because this person also want the company Google and Facebook, but it also want lead code. But this person only want Google and Facebook and thus both of these companies un come under this person also. The, this person's index is like a subset of this, so we don't include it in our final output. So we only output all those indices whose companies or like whose names are not subset of any other person. Okay, so there can be multiple ways to do that, but I have done it in the most simpler way, and it is got accepted because actually the constraints are very small. Okay, so what I have done is I have to first do a lookup. So what can I do is I can maintain two uh, two pointers. One point at the uh, first person so we what we do is we compare every person with every other person and we will find the intersection okay so for every person every two person like i point at zero person and j point at the first person and we'll do a for loop and we will do a for loop over all the persons but when i equal to equal to j we will not do the process because if i and j are same which means we are talking about the same person then it is a subset of that person only because this person is actually the sub subset of itself so everyone will get cancelled out so we will do the matching or the uh, the subset foundation in two different persons okay so now what we will do is let's move to the code so to do the lookups very quickly to check whether so for the ith person lead code we will want to check whether this person consists of lead code so we can either iterate over the whole list and check whether lead code is there or for fast lookup we can maintain a set and for even fast lookup we can maintain an unordered set. So I have done the same vector of an unordered set of strings. We will iterate over all the strings and first push for ith person all the strings in that set such that for all the ith all the persons we will do the lookup very fast. Now I took two point like flags, flag one and this flag. So now for every person i and for every person j, we will do this matching subset like uh, we will check whether they're subset or not when i and j are not same. Now we will initialize those two flags with zero under these four conditions. So now what we will do is we will check whether this ith person is a subset of any other person okay so what we will do is for every a string of present in i we will check whether it is present in any all the strings of this is present in any other person so we will take the first string and if j is equal to 1 on this person we will check whether lead code is there or not to check we will just search it in the set so for all the per, like strings in i, we will do a lookup and search it in the jth set if it is not present. So what does this mean? It means that for our target, all the companies must be present. For the ith company to be a subset of any other person, all the companies is present. So if any of the companies is not present, it means this must not be a subset. Okay, because for like example, for if we check for this person, Google is present in person 1, correct. Facebook is present in person 1, correct. So, if everything is present, 
then this will remain to be zero. This condition is not met. So if everything is everything is found in another person, then this will remain to be zero. Now we will check if this is zero. It means that we are doing a negation of flag one, which means if flag is zero, it means all the elements of I are present in J. So we increment our flag to one. And it means that i should not be taken in our final vector because it is a subset. Okay, because now if this remains to be zero, it means that this condition is not met and every element of i is present in some other j person. And if it is present, then we increment our flag to be one, which means that this is a subset. And if that is a subset, then we'll not push in the vector final vector v if this flag is not make equal to 1 which means that this is not a subset and we have checked for all the possibilities and this will not turn out to be 1 it is remain to be 0 then we will remain check that flag is equal to 0 yes so it means it is a not subset of any other person then only will push in the answer and now because we are moving i from 0 to 1 so it is also in order and then we just return which is consist of all the person index and this is accepted. I hope you understand the logic as well as the code. If you still have any doubts or better solutions, please uh, mention it in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.